Now, we all know what's thought to have killed off the dinosaurs, but now scientists say the asteroid that's believed to have wiped them out 66 million years ago was not the only one. Researchers have confirmed a second, smaller space rock smashed into the sea off the coast of West Africa, creating a large crater during the same era. It would have been a catastrophic event, and scientists say it would have caused a tsunami at least 800 metres high to tear across the Atlantic Ocean. Well, I spoke to Sean Gulick, who's the co-author of the study and a research professor at the University of Texas at Austin. He told me why this discovery is so important. Well, it's a, it's a really interesting discovery, entirely buried under the uh, continental shelf of West Africa and only imaged in geophysical data, but it's beautifully imaged in three dimensions. Um, and it's exciting that it happens to be potentially close to the same time as the Chicxulub event 66 million years ago, known to be the, the, the main cause of the extinction event that killed the dinosaurs and 75% of life on Earth. Absolutely fascinating. So tell me a little bit more about this second asteroid. What did it do? Where did it hit? And what was the impact of it? Yeah, so it's much, much smaller. Uh, it probably was smaller than, say, 500 meters, you know, probably about the size of the asteroid Bennu that, you know, is, is a near-Earth object today. Um, and it's thought, based on the 3D data, that we can constrain it hit this uh, shelf off West Africa, coming in sort of in a, at a low angle in a, in a shallow sea. Um, and those hundreds of meters of water it hit would have generated a pretty significant tsunami, um, certainly destructive to, you know, life on, on the coast of West Africa and potentially, you know, damaging across the ocean. It may not have been a global event, however. It wouldn't have been large enough to have, say, caused a, a global catastrophe in the way that Chicxulub did. But it doesn't mean it's not an extra effect um, that could have occurred at a similar time. And, and it's worth saying we don't know the exact timing because it hasn't yet been drilled. Mm, really interesting.